good morning class 11 my students today i will continue chapter morphology of flower but today's topic is about the gynoecium children all of you know gynoecium means the female part of the flower so female part of the flower that means there will be the ovary style and stigma one female part that is carpel one carpel always is there there will be ovary this is style and this is stigma it is present on the thalamus and thalamus will contain all other floral parts are also present on thalamus so this is the primary structure of a gynoecium but there are some differences because all the flowers are not with the same uh, character with the same type of structure so gynoecium is also becomes the different Gynoecium's are mainly of two types apocarpus and syncarpus if it is apocarpus it means that as i draw here this is the part of the thalamus and on the thalamus there are four carpels are there ovaries are there and along with that ovaries there will be the stigma and small style as in the pea plant the style is very small so like that apocarpus means they are free from each other as children in the previous video i told you that uh, petals are free then they are known as polypetalous if petals are joined then they are known as gamopetalous but in case of gynoecium name will be the different one if the carpels are free then ovary is said to be apocarpus or gynoecium is said to be apocarpus then next one syncarpus as children you know syn word is present wherever it is present in bio it indicates that there will be formation or synthesis or some joining of more than two or two so here the name is given syncarpus that means carpels are joined that means fused suppose here i draw on the white board that is there are three ovaries and which three are joined with each other that means three carpels are joined with each other as i shown here it is known as syncarpus not only three minimum two and maximum l number koi bhi number any number anything that means not infinite because infinite have different types of names but not that infinite some numbers should be there so syncarpus means carpels are joined now here children according to structure of ovary where the ovules are present and finally this these ovule become the seed so according to the number of carpel ovaries have given some names or gynoecium have given some different names as children here it is written unilocular children you know uni means one locule means segment so in this type of ovary that is unilocular they have a single ovary there will be no partition no separation of the carpels from each other as children nowadays you can see the cucumber full ovary there is one locule and seeds are present in the periphery or in their side of that ovary sometimes in <clears throat> two sometimes in four sometimes in five let it be 
but the locule will be one only that is unilocular in case of example it is given cucker beta families <coughs> that means pumpkin also you can see all the seeds are present inside and periphery or the locule is not divided or simple example that is cucumber there is one locule in that ovary next one this is unilocular next one bilocular as children you know bi means two so locule will be divided into two parts as children you have seen tomato see the structure here in between the ovules are present or situated over the placenta and this is the white one placenta and these are the two locules of the ovary and these are the seeds same thing you can see in brinjal also but in brinjal you can't identify but in tomato you can identify very well so this is solenum solenum night or if you don't know that solenum or it, it, it is present in the solanaceae family members of solanaceae family tomato brinjal all these things petunia then trilocular tri means children you know it is three so the ovary is divided into three parts or separated into three locules then is known as trilocular as example is asphodelus you don't know asphodelus here but children i can show you that trilocular ovary will be seen like that you can see ovary is divided into three parts and seeds are matured it becomes black i do not have this type of flower just now but i have in my house so i can show you the ovary seeds are matured become black and ovary is rupturing to throw the seeds for its pollination see children it is trilocular and you can see in uh, onion also but you can't understand where these are onion seed and how it is trilocular but now children i can show you this is the trilocular ovary then tetralocular 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 means where there will be four parts are present in that ovary so if it is four parts it means figure should be like that at the center there will present a locule is divided into 1 2 3 and 4 four parts and this tetralocular you can see in ossimum ossimum means basal in but you can't see that uh, flower or ovary it is tetralocular it is divided into four locules now above the four number that means 5 6 7 8 whatever it is called as multilocular so there may be four chambers five chambers six chambers seven chambers any chambers can be there as children you know the lady's finger now children i can show you the lady lady finger see 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 maybe five chamber maybe six chamber maybe seven chamber should be more than four then it is called as multi locular so sub in this lady's finger ovary is multi locular according to example you can understand in cucker beta family or in cucumber there is ovary is multi locular in tomato brinjal like the solanaceae family the all the members have bilocular ovary trilocular ovary it is present in ossimum tetralocular it is here and four chambered and multilocular five chambered tetralocular i even i shown you it is present in onion 
but i think you have not seen if you have seen then it is very good so it is present and tetralocular it is ossimum ossimum means i told you that is basil so all these fruits children i think uh, those who are bio student please you should know it there is the difference between fruits and vegetable as when we are eating but according to plant if the fruit develops from the flower it will be fruit other parts of the plants are we are eating that will be the vegetable fruits are maybe also the vegetable just like i shown you lady's finger so all the fruits have their ovary and all the ovaries are differentiated into five types according to their locules so children it is locular presentation and children everyone you know or you have seen also that uh, capsicum in that capsicum white part where the ovules are situated that is placenta in lady finger also you can see the placenta in between or in the midpoint and then ovules are attached to it here at the mid midpoint or at the at the point where the seeds are located they have placenta here it is placenta as children you know in cucumber there are three sides where seeds are situated then in tomato the two sides are there then in trilocular placenta will be in between then there will be three chambers as in lady's finger i shown you there are five or six chambers and placenta at the at center now children you can see or you should know it maybe it is not in your syllabus because it is reduced the arrangement of seeds along with the placenta is known as placentation so type of placentations are there as children you have eaten dates so dates have one locule and there is placenta at one margin and they have one seed so the placentation is called as marginal then as suppose in cucumber all the seeds are present towards the periphery so the name is given parietal as children uh, you cut the lemon understood so lemon have superficial placentation all the seeds are present near about the center and at the center there is small placenta and they are present into each locule children you can very well understand when you will cut the orange locules are separated and in that separated area there will be the seed then free central as children i i have shown you that lady finger free central it means the to placenta is at the center and ovules are present towards the attached from the placenta and they are free to move that is there will be locules are present but it is not separated by any partition acha then uh, marginal presentation i told you and then basal children in mango in the droop type of fruits there will be the basal presentation as children you know that mango have seeds attached from the base of it so this is basal and in case of marginal seeds are attached at one margin that is uh, leguminous pods maybe it is pea pod maybe it is gram pod there will be the marginal presentation so maybe it is not in your course that is reduced but still i i want to tell you then children yeah epigynous perigynous hypogynous even i explained it already that epigynous 
ovary is present down than the other floral parts perigynous peri means periphery all the floral parts are arranged according to the or along with that ovary towards its periphery and hypogynous means all the floral part are down to it and ovary is superior so it is over already it is now children i want to explain you that uh, inflorescence inflorescence means all children all of you know children that inflorescence means collection of flowers on a branch or on a twig according to some symmetry or according to some manner it is known as inflorescence so i think you can see elsewhere or everywhere you can see the different types of arrangement of flowers on their floral axis this is called as inflorescence just children one example i want to say i want to tell you that uh, cauliflower all the flowers are present at one or above the stem at one place so this is also an inflorescence all the flowers are present according to its arrangement now inflorescence it is of two types racemos and cymos racemos here this i have written here indeterminate it means that suppose children this is the stem and this is the petiole of the flower and as the flower grow stem starts to grow in length and other flowers will arise in its alternate manner as the part of the stem will grow and flowers start to grow from side to side according to the time of maturity lower flowers will be wilted and younger flowers will be on the top so this is known as indeterminate that means length of the stem will grow it never be stop and flowers will grow according to its maturity this is the type of racemos flower racemos inflorescence racemos inflorescence there are so many types or sub types it is not in our syllabus but i want to tell you just suppose raceme then uh, i think everyone you have seen the collection of uh, wheat barley they are included under spike or spikelet then if children you have seen the banana flower i think everyone you have seen but you don't know about it that after that whole length of that banana there is a red colored floral area is there it is the flower of the banana plant from those flowers banana will arise and this is known as spadix now you if you have seen that uh, coriander then they have corin or um, umbel type of flower, flowers they have some plants have compound umbel so in this way there are so many sub types which are racemos it means that total length of the stem will grow or will continue throughout the lifetime and from there parts new branch will arise and new flowers will arise lower flowers or older flowers will be wilted and younger flowers will remain there next one cymos here it is determinant determinant means there will be some 
point or some determination or it is fixed that after that it will not grow so children suppose this is the main stem when main stem got one flower or one flower grow on the main stem so there will be no increase in the length of that stem or no flower will grow at that area now from that stem another branch will arise new flower will grow here now this branch also stop their growth of length now again some branch will arise from it and again flower will grow and again the growth of this branch also will be stopped in this way cymose inflorescence is present there in some flowers where the main stem will stop their growth and branches will continue if the branches got the flower then branches also will be stop their growth so this is known as cymose type of inflorescence now children type of cymos children cymos inflorescence it is also not in your syllabus but i want to tell you just suppose you have seen the sunflower sunflower have black colored disc at the center and towards its periphery there are some petals maybe orange maybe yellow whatever mostly yellow so these are the neuter because there is no male and female all the male flowers are present in the disc that is called as head or capitulum this inflorescence is called as head or capitulum and it belongs to the cymos now there will be no growth those who have sunflower plant in their houses they can see it or dahlia if the flower will grow then next time that that branch will not grow any other flower then suppose uh, everyone you have seen um, basil basil means in hindi it is tulsi tulsi have some flowers then flower become mature then they become uh, produce the seed and tulsi and bas or basil you can see the flowers are arranged in a proper manner it is called as verticillaster then children helicoid that means like helix they will turn then biparous biparous means they will grow towards the their opposite direction in two sides then hypanthodium it is the main um, special type of cymos hypanthodium you can found in figs i think if you have seen the fig which is ripened totally then you can see all the sorry which is not ripened then all the flowers are present at the center where it is hollow there will be male flower there will be female flower and gall flower g a w l gall flower gall flowers are the neuter so children these are not in your syllabus so simply i was i told you please remember the all these names that means inflorescence is inflorescence is of many types mainly two types racemosa cymos now children thank you god bless you